¿vale? change into the jig <coughs> and uh, the only then they moved to slow air then from there to reels. The one thing I'd like to point out and I think from my listening to them they stopped that the reel program in the first part of the reel. So you should play the tune through and finish on the second part of the reel or whatever. But I think now on that it occurs you can check it out anyway, you know, but I think they, they, they stopped in the fourth part of the uh, Down to the, uh, pretty well through, they said the bass drum, bass drum is on the one hand, we could get it on two hands, we get a nice better balance from, you know. Also, check your lanes in the opening march, when you're marching into the arena, check your lanes, they're, they're a wee bit, they're not just, the spacing's not even, you know. As the march in, as I look down the band and march in, the far two lanes look a bit close together. And there's quite a few one handed accordions as well. A lot of talk about playing the accordions with two hands now. At all levels of music, you know, even in the traditional music as well, you know, Haley Van Fields and all that, they're all complaining about the one hands and the accordions. However, they give a very good performance at the same time. I think they should do well to tidy up a few things, you know, and once they go to the Ulster level, I know they will tighten up a lot. Because they're coming here tonight, you know, and they, they knew rightly they had no opposition, and <laughs> they threw the thing together, and they, they knew they were going to go anyway, you know, but I have to make these comments. You know, they wouldn't matter. They would make a difference, you know, for the wrong, you know. So that's Mayo Bridge. They're through. Okay. I can't say very much about St. Miguel's. They have a very good performance, they have a very good uh, sound, you know what I mean? They get sound from the accordions and all that. And uh, the bass drum, the bass was a bit heavy at times, you know, but uh, they give a good marching performance throughout. And uh, the only thing about St. Miguel's, a lot of the tunes I, I, I must admit, I didn't recognise. You know, they were unusual sort of tunes, some of them. And, uh, However, having said that, they were played very well, and uh, they got 91 marks. Then we come to Addy Call. Addy Call, uh, they were 
did very well. So, the only thing about Eddie I don't like this coming at the start. You know, I like the man to start off and play and hit into the two, three bass rolls and get into the program. We had to listen to a lot of drums and on a lot of uh, sort of unusual sounds and traditional circles. You know, before we actually got the melody of the, the band playing, but uh, they were playing with seven accordions and a block. But they they done very well, and I must congratulate the drum corps in this band. They they had a very a full drum corps, and they handled the the, uh, the amount of accordions that they had. They didn't, you know, they didn't overpower them or anything. Like they played, they done the job very well. And uh, the only thing I'd have to say to Addy Hall, it was very, uh, in, in, in my thinking of them playing there, I think you know the, the requirement for marching bands to play. A minimum of four marches. You know, we started off with single reels and Finnegan's Wake and followed by jigs and then haste to the wedding, slow air, horn pipes. Then we eventually got a march to get the finish. But I think, you know, you'd be better turn your program around and start off, hit off with a couple of marches. And, uh, you know, they, they're very uh, traditionally, very dance oriented at this band. They play a lot of dance tunes, you know. Uh, there again, based on bit heavy on the could lay off wee but otherwise they are very good. There Mark was uh, eighty seven. <laughs> so the two bands go through the first uh Simpson Peggy Well secondary <laughs> call. Now ladies there, would you show your appreciation for Judy Kidder please who's come a long way to make a new job? How do you work? And I'll ask the chairman of the local organising committee to present the prizes, first of all, to St. Patrick's Mayo Bridge.